This video is brought to you by Big Bad Toy Store. Make your purchases through my personal link in the description to help out the channel. So it took me a while to actually watch Peacemaker because I wasn't really sure about it and uh, I didn't really think I was going to like it. But I had a friend who pressured me into watching it, so I watched it all with him in one go. And uh, it's pretty amazing. It's probably like the best DC show to come out in the last like couple of years at least. So uh, after that, I didn't actually buy the Peacemaker figure when Suicide Squad dropped. I liked Suicide Squad. I thought it was a very good movie. But uh, Peacemaker himself didn't really interest me that much. But man, the show really did change my mind about him. Uh, John Cena, who I am a little bit critical of in actual wrestling, blew me away. He was fantastic in the show and uh, I can't wait to see more of him. So um, yeah, I bought the McFarlane figure and uh, like looking up close, it's like a very possible John Cena likeness. You can sort of see it's him, but it also looks a bit soft in terms of detail and he just looks a bit too mellow. And then, um, yeah, I uh, I bought this uh, Hollywood, I think this is supposed to be like a Fast and the Furious John Cena figure, but um, as you can see, it's got a much, much better head sculpt, and um, since this is like an older Cena, it actually looks like him in Peacemaker, so uh, I was thinking a head swap. Obviously the skin tones are very different, but the head sizes are about the same, and um, I also sort of want to do something about the arms, because these arms while double jointed are the ugliest double jointed arms I have ever seen on a figure. Like, look at this. How did this get approved? Yeah, starters, I am going to try to remove this helmet and then I wanna hollow it out and I wanna see if I can make it so that this is a removable helmet. And I'm not really sure about it, but I think this is also a bit stretchy, so um yeah, let's uh, have a look. So I'm gonna heat it up with a hairdryer and then we'll go from there. So I have now heated up the head. As, as you can see, everything is really pliable now. So I think, oh, I can just straight up. Ah, oh, it's really hot. Um, I can just pull everything off, I believe. And I broke the helmet. Great. I guess that was gonna happen regardless and So, there we go. Wow. Really not a very good looking head sculpt there. So, um, okay, moment of truth. It is not even close, uh, but... Hmm. Maybe if I like cut off here and then Try to extend it a little bit out, and I need to hollow this out as well. Okay, so now I've hollowed out the helmet, as you can see on the inside here, and uh, it's like a slightly better fit, but I still need like this much, like you see this bit protruding here? I need it to be like this much thicker. So what I'm thinking about is I can just make this middle part here, like, twice as thick. I, I mean, I'm not really sure how good it's gonna look, and uh, probably the smarter thing would be to um, re-sculpt, like, the actual helmet, but I think it's easier to get away with re-sculpting uh, this arch thing. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So, um, at least we'll start there. So, I'm just gonna take the knife, and then we will follow this groove here. So I had to do that off camera, but uh, you get the point. So um, now the two halves are separated. So for starters, we can just see what this looks like. Hmm, I think I need to get rid of more plastic up here as well, because it doesn't quite sit the way I want it to. So I've shaved away even more plastic on the inside now, and um, I've gotten to, like, here. So, like, it looks pretty good, but, like, the back piece needs to be extended. Like, uh, I literally need, like, twice as much of this ridge. So, um, I think that's what I'm gonna do. 
So, I have, um, sort of, I mean, it, okay, 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 hear me out, it doesn't look very good from the side, but whenever you're gonna really see the helmet from the side, it's mostly gonna be like that, or like this, or, yeah. So, um, let's see if this hot glue is gonna, um, like, separate from the helmet if I put it on. So, moment of truth. Uh, I use super glue because it's, uh, like, a little bit stretchy. And, uh... <gasps> it works. I need to angle the brow a little bit, but the important thing is the helmet fits. Okay, so now I need to fill out, like, here. So uh, the helmet just covers up a little bit more. But this is a very, very good step. This is um, perfectly fine. I know this bit here is a little bit angled, but um, that's fine. I don't really care that much about accuracy. Like, like I said, all I really want is I want a removable Peacemaker helmet for this John Cena head. And um, the glue is not cracking, which is my number one thing. So... Um, now we're going to keep building on this with uh, more glue, and uh, yeah, we'll see where we go from there. So while I'm waiting for this nightmare to dry, you see all this glue, um, I'm going to just do a quick head transplant. So I'm going to heat this head up, and then uh, see what I'm working with. And now with the head heated up, hopefully it comes off just like that. Unfortunately, Mattel does this, like... You see how these are connected? They're like, it's like a round, it's like a circle there, and it's attached to a peg that goes just like straight in. It's a really annoying joint. It's also not very stable. Like, you see how fickle this is? It just moves like really easily. So, um, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure this is good. Huh. Actually, this sits on pretty well, actually, but obviously the skin tone is all wrong. But, um,. I need to thicken up this peg a little bit, but I can do that with some uh, regular plastic wrap. But, wow, this actually does look pretty good. Also, I didn't really mention it, but uh, this head is repainted, like, well, ever so slightly repainted. I redid the eyebrows and I redid the eyes, because originally he just looked in two different directions and the eyes were a little bit too light blue, so it just looked a bit weird. But, yeah, as you can see, really, really solid John Cena likeness here. So now I've reached a point where the helmet is uh, pretty much like put together, but as you can see it looks like absolute garbage. So I'm gonna put some clay on top of like everything. There are a bunch of like sculpted in lines as well, but honestly I'm not really gonna bother because I want to save myself a headache. So uh, let's just completely cover this with um, milliputs. And then of course after we're finished we're gonna sand everything Nice and smooth. Okay, so now I've done like the general like just cover up and uh, as you can see it's quite lumpy and it looks very rough but uh, when this is um, hardened I'm going to sand it all smooth and then I'm gonna start rebuilding like this arch here that I accidentally sent it away a little bit too much of earlier and um, yeah it's gonna look a lot better. So still waiting for the helmet here to um, completely harden up but I've done some additional stuff to uh, the neck here because as you can see here I've created enough space in between the actual head and the neck so there shouldn't be any paint to rub and um, so basically I had two choices here I could either repaint the arms and the neck or I could simply repaint the head. However, because of the nature of the head and the whole thing being a removable helmet, I didn't really want to risk any, you know, paint scuffs while I was putting this on and off. So um, I decided to uh, just go and repaint this bit here. I've sanded everything down here, as you can see. It used to be pretty much like straight up. So um, yeah, I've grinded away a lot of plastic. And uh, 
so I'm gonna try to match the skin tone of the head, and for that, I feel like this light brown is a pretty close match, and then um, there's also like a slightly yellowish tint to the skin, so I'm gonna add just a tiny little bit of sun yellow, and uh, I might also add a little bit of uh, just straight up white. So um, yeah, we'll start with the light brown and then we'll see where we go from there. So also a slight change of plans. I uh, added a little bit of pale flesh just to um, balance out the skin tone a little bit. So I've got a mix of it and I'm just gonna try it on like the inside of this head. Hmm. It's a little too yellow. I think we need a little bit more. And uh, I'm just impatient, so I'm straight up gonna start on the neck itself. This looks to be a really good match. I added a little bit of Cadian flesh tone as well. Um, this one, this was my go-to skin color for a very long time. And here we go, skin tones matching pretty nicely, and uh, we just put the head on like so. And as you can see, there's enough clearance in between the head itself and the neck to not cause any major paint rub. I mean, I still have to be careful, obviously, like I don't want to like grind into the neck, obviously, but if I'm just wary of it, I can uh, pretty much prevent any paint rub, really, so yeah. I don't really know if I'm gonna do anything with the arms though, because I don't really plan on keeping these really ugly arms. So it's time to paint the little helmet, and uh, I got some primer here, some uh, Citadel Chaos Black, just to make... Uh, so you see like, there's clay and there's glue and there's like the original plastic, so what the primer does is basically it just binds everything together a little easier for the paint, so there's not like big paint difference when I actually do paint it. And then after that, I'm gonna hit it up with uh, this chrome paint. It's just like some no brand car. So I give it a little shake and then we just... A little short burst of paint like that. I also filled up the inside of the helmet with uh, paper because when I put the helmet on and off um, the John Cena head, I don't want the silver paint, or the black paint in this case, to like leave marks on the actual head. So therefore I filled it up with paper so the inside remains unpainted. So with a boring black out of the way now, let's do some chrome silver. And uh, I'm not actually sure just how chrome this is, but uh, I've used it before and I think it's more like a sort of light silver. And uh, it's actually really light. Hey, there is actually some pretty nice reflection in there. It's definitely better than the original. Okay, so, um, yeah. So, unfortunately, when you actually do spray paint, you notice some imperfections. Like, this side is mostly nice. It's got some irregularities, but it's mostly fine. And then here, you can see, like, this bulge of paint here needs to be sanded down a little bit. And then you see this hole here, this definitely needs to get fixed. So um, yeah, need to prep some clay again. But otherwise, like I really like the shine of this. Okay, so I really wanted this video up like two days ago, but uh, work has been sort of kicking my butt. So um, yeah, a little bit delayed. But anyway, here is um, Peacemaker with his new head and the uh, repainted neck and all that jazz. And here is the helmet. And uh, this is how it turned out. It's not like perfect, but it's like good enough. Considering McFarlane's own quality control issues, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with this. I also added this little, um, if we can get a focus. I added this little um, insignia just because, uh, as we all know, if you've seen the show, he is not able to use gear if it doesn't have that symbol. So um, yeah, I thought it would be appropriate. I really think McFarlane should have just sculpted that in. I mean, I assume they do everything digitally anyway, so I don't see what the big issue is. But uh, anyway, here we go. Time to see if the helmet actually fits. And as you can see, I didn't paint the inside of the helmet again because I want to avoid the silver paint like scuffing onto the actual head. So um, yeah, 
that's a moment of truth here. It fits. Let's see. Oh, I'm really happy about it. So, um, okay, so this is mostly going to be seen from the front. So, from the side, it looks a bit off, uh, mainly because uh, obviously the sculpted detail doesn't transfer to this side. And uh, this should technically be like straight, but you know, I had to do some sacrifices in order for everything to work out. Still, you know, the fact that this is removable makes me really, really happy. And uh, this is a much, much better likeness than um, this original head. Like, just look at it. It looks horrible. So, um, yeah. Uh, what else? I am going to do something eventually about these arms, mainly because I don't like this joint here. I actually think, like, joint here is fine. Yeah, it's just like this bit. I, I don't understand why they decided to make it so ugly. But, uh, yeah, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with that. Maybe I'll buy, like, a double-jointed John Cena figure and Frankenstein on the arms. That way it would also keep this skin tone, I would imagine. But, yeah. So, really happy about how this turned out. And, uh, there will probably be an update about this figure in the future. But, for now, this is it. So, thank you for watching, and, uh, if you enjoy what I do and want to support me, then, uh, feel free to check out my Patreon. So, um, yeah. Thank you for watching, and hope you enjoyed. Nothing like a bloodbath to start the day. I cherish peace with all my heart. I don't care how many men, women, and children I need to kill to get it.